Hi, I'm Andrew from Okta, and today we're going to look at installing the RDP Credential Provider. To start off, let's go to our admin panel, go to Applications, and click Browse App Catalog. From here, we will search for RDP and click on the Microsoft RDP option. Click Add on this screen, and now we'll be able to enter a label. If we want to change it, I'm going to accept the default, click Done, and then we will jump over to the General tab. Here we can see we have a client ID and secret we'll use during the installation process, as well as some documentation off to the side here. Let's open up that and take a look at that real quick. There are a few things to be aware of. For example, TLS 1.2 being the most important. Clicking on this link will show some registry values that we can change. Looking at the enable TLS 1.2 in .NET section, gives us some instructions on how to enter this registry value to force TLS 1.2. So where do we download the application for this? Clicking on settings, going to downloads is where we will find it. I've opened it in a new tab. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the Okta MFA credential provider for Windows. Go ahead and download the latest version. Now we are ready to begin. I've got an RDP with nothing on it here. This is an AWS Server 2019 instance. Let's take a look at the version. eighteen oh nine twenty nineteen OS build one seven seven six three. All right, I'm going to grab my download, click on the title bar, right click paste. I'll go ahead and extract the zip file and begin the installation process. There is a setup file. If we run this, it's going to say install VCC 14, and this will actually fail. The reason for this is that VCC 14 is already installed on this server 2019, and this does require an update. I assure you the appropriate teams have been made aware of this. Let's go ahead and proceed by running this installer instead. Click Next. We'll accept the default location for the installation. And now we have the location to put that client ID and secret in. Copy and paste. I'm going to use the address bar up here to grab my URL. We're going to take off dash admin and get just the URL portion. This is very, very important to get this correct. No trailing slash here. Delete that trailing slash. So it should be HTTPS colon slash slash your instance name dot octa dot com. Let's go ahead and click next. I'm going to accept the defaults here, but you can read about what these options do in that documentation page. And that is it. So if we recall, we do have some registry entries we need to update. Let's go ahead and open up regedit. I'll hit the Windows button R, regedit. This will be open with administrator privileges, which is what we need. Let's grab that registry location. Close the downloads. Here's our TLS instructions. Go to here, copy, paste. And we will create a new D word with the value of one called SCHU strong crypto. New D word, paste, 
value of one. Okay, we are done. No reboot required. Let's close that. Next, we need to create the user that we're gonna log in as. Go to computer management, expand out the users, right click on users, create new user. We're gonna call this user andrew.rdp. Set the password. And we will make this password never expire. Now we'll just go ahead and add them to the administrators group just for fun. Remove them from the user group. This is not necessary. I just want to have an administrator user for my andrew.rdp account. This is not a necessary step. Now I have my user account. We need to make a corresponding user account on Okta. We can close this. There's no more critical steps in here, but you can feel free to read more about all the different configurations and options we have available. For our sign-on policy here, we're actually gonna change the username format. We're not gonna use the username, which is the full email. We're just gonna use the prefix, which is that portion before the at symbol. Save that. And now we will create that user. Directory people, add person, first name, Andrew RDP, Andrew.RDP at example.com. So in this case, the critical piece is going to be Andrew.RDP matching the local user account that we created on our server. Let's go ahead and set the password. And that user is now created. Let's go ahead and create a corresponding group for our RDP MFA users. Let's go ahead and add Andrew to this group. Done. And let's assign this group to our application. Use the back button, go to the assignments tab, assign groups. Let's just search for RDP, assign it, done. Now if we go to people, we can see my Andrew RDP user is assigned to this application. We are done here, but before we log in, there is no inline MFA registration within the RDP credential provider. So let's open up a new incognito window and navigate to our Okta instance and log in as our Andrew RDP user just to set up those MFA factors. Log in, I need to set my reset password. I need to create my account. And then it's going to ask me again to set my recovery options. I'm going to skip that for now. Skip the tour. And clicking on my name in the upper right corner, going to settings, is where I can set up my MFA factors. Scroll down to extra verification. Click set up on Okta Verify. At which point I'm going to get my smartphone out here and pull up the Okta Verify application. Let's go ahead and set it for iPhone, click the plus on my Okta Verify app, and scan the code. Now that I've scanned the code, my extra MFA factor is set up for the RDP session. We are done here, we can close this. Going back to RDP, I'm going to log in to another RDP session, where I'm going to log in as my Andrew RDP user, and this is going to be the Windows password. Continue through the cert prompt, and at this point I will be presented with my MFA challenge. I can send a push notification to the Active Verify app which I just set up, clicking yes, and I get a number challenge, 
clicking on the appropriate number, and I'm now logged in through Okta with the MFA challenge. So with that TLS prompt and the username matching parameters, hopefully you will not have some challenges. And I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you. Bye-bye.